Hi, welcome to today's Ask Jade marketing advice video. Today I wanted to talk just really quickly about how, how it can be beneficial to bring in a marketing consultant that's external to your company. Um, I get asked this a lot by clients who either have internal marketing resource or don't have any internal marketing resource whatsoever. I think all businesses can benefit from marketing consultants, firstly because we're objective and we're external to the company, so we can look at things with a fresh set of eyes. So often we will ask the question such as, well, what's the bigger challenge here? If I get asked a question like, do we need a new website or should we go through a rebrand? I'm very objective in the sense that I would like to know what are the, the bigger challenges the company is facing. So a marketing consultant will always want to know what is it that we need to achieve and what is the, the main root of the problem or the challenge that you're facing and that can be really valuable. The other thing is that yeah having that outside perspective to help you come up with the best solution uh, can really help give guidance and steer to your team so whether your marketing department is just one marketing executive or a senior manager with a big team quite often we see uh, marketing consult consultants will see that businesses are so busy with the day-to-day -day activities that they're implementing in their plan or even they don't have a plan and they're just sort of treading water where a marketing consultant can help is to bring in structure and clarity to get growth and results from your marketing. So quite often a marketing consultant will start the piece of work with you by carrying out a marketing audit or a marketing review whereby the consultant will look at, will tell us, show us the results and the data and the insights as to what's happening with your marketing right now. Let's have a dig into your website, let's have a dig into your um, business scorecards, your KPI reporting, your dashboards, what you need to achieve as a company at a, at a higher level. And then we can look at whether there's a disconnect, whether your marketing is optimised for best results. It's a really good place to start because we can then pinpoint to you and say, OK, here's the areas to optimise. Here's what needs to be worked on. Here's why your campaigns aren't working as effectively as they could be. So a good example of that could be in a recent audit that we did at Tambini Marketing. I was speaking to the client and they were um, unsure as to whether their advertising was split out into the right channels. So we really looked into, OK, well, what is each channel getting? And they weren't entirely sure because they had so much on that the resources were spread a little thinly. So we recommended how to optimise each channel and suggested the steps that needed to be taken. So that's a good example where if you have a marketing team or even a large marketing team, a marketing consultant can help you to simply optimise what you're already doing, suggest changes, suggest areas that need to be focused on. If you don't have a marketing team, a marketing consultant can suggest, OK, well, let me understand the business strategy, how you need to grow. Look, you only have a marketing executive or external marketing partners, so you what you're expecting may be a little bit too high of, of the individual resources. What you need to do is redefine the plan. Here's some objectives that you need to work to. Let the consultant brief all your partners and your agencies, get them on track, get your marketing executive on track. Um, what I often see with clients is too much can be expected of junior marketers. That's a really common one. So if you're a business who can only really afford, in terms of it wouldn't be sensible to have a large marketing team and maybe you, you have a marketing executive because your company's not large enough to warrant a large department, what can often be found is that your marketing executive is great at implementing a plan, tax, tactical activities. That's absolutely what a marketing executive is there for. But if you're relying on them and asking them to develop a plan or a strategy that is very likely going to be above their ability level and hence you won't get a very good document, you may be feeling frustrated that they're not delivering on a strategy. And that is simply because that's not what the role entails. It's a little bit like asking a very junior person in your company to run the business. They wouldn't have those skill sets. So we need to be really, really clear about what are the job descriptions and what is the attributes this individual has and what are their skills. Many marketers are expected to have all the marketing skills and that just does, does, doesn't happen. So the benefit with the marketing consultant is that we tend to be generalists. We tend to have a very good understanding of all areas of marketing. And then we tend to be able to call in the specialist partners to implement and put in place the, the much more um, detail oriented areas and specialist areas. But we, we tend to know and understand all areas. Uh, so yeah, I mean a good example of, of this is I recently worked with a business to business company in the construction sector. They need to grow their turnover um, to 2 million in the next 24 months. Um, 
and they're currently their current turnover is much lower than that so we put a plan in place to look at okay well what needs to be done in order to achieve that two million turnover how many potential how many new projects need to be won to equate to that growth how many um opportunities do we need to quote for in order to win that number of projects how do we increase the average order value so that we're managing less projects and our operation team can manage uh, doing these jobs? How do we win more prestigious jobs? So we looked at all these big things. How, how do we get the team on board with the brand position and the promise we're making to the customers? So we looked at all those key pillars from the business strategy and we've turned it into uh, a big a big piece of work where we're overhauling their marketing. Now this company doesn't have any in-house marketing resource. So I've been working with them to help them to source a CRM system, get their data scored, profiled, segmented, get it into the system, start communicating with their customers to keep them warm, nurtured, um, start to add new channels to their marketing to attract um, new customers such as search engine optimization, uh, pay-per-click advertising, traditional advertising. We look, we've, we've introduced uh, a very hefty case study and blog monthly calendar. Um, their social media has been shaped up. Um, there is so much that is being done for this company. So by starting at the top with a marketing consultant and looking at what is it we really need to achieve and where are we needing to go, that can be worth its weight in gold. So in summary, the main benefit to working with a marketing consultant is that we're entirely objective. We don't have any agenda aligned with any form of marketing. We are absolutely on your side in the sense that we want to get you growth and we want to get you there um, with the optimal mix of, of activities, the best use of spend um, and being realistic with what's available. We are very clear in our recommendations um, and we really take the headache away from you when you want to be focusing on your day to day job. Uh, so yeah, if you like this video, please like, comment and share. I'd really appreciate that. If you have any questions you'd like me to cover in my next video, please do let me know. Thank you.